Hello everyone and welcome back to Skyrim. So before I get started, Cthulhu. That is what I was looking for in the last episode, the Cthulhu lore. <laughs> um, so I did look it up after the recording, I'm sure maybe there will be a comment on the previous video and hopefully I put up an annotation saying Cthulhu. But in case I didn't, there you go. So anyway, I figured out a way to dismiss Brock. Yeah. I had to go into the tweak options. I wanted this to be recorded, because I did it before, but I had to reload this quick save, because I want you all to see this guy finally leave our party. I've been trying for episodes. Just so many episodes. So you have to go into actions, and then dismiss. And there he goes. Goodbye, Brock. I tried to kill him, but uh, I could not injure him at all. So I tried killing him. He can't even be killed. But we finally got him to, to be dismissed, so there he goes off in his loincloth. And we have to follow Freya up to the north. But before we do that, I also spent some time, and I have manually leveled up Gore so that he can hopefully cast a Draugr Warrior Summon spell. I gave him enough Magicka, I gave him the required level of Conjuration so that he can hopefully do it. We'll see in combat if he actually does or not. I've never actually manually leveled up people through this mod the follower mod so hopefully that works i don't know we'll see all right freya you see that green light that comes from the windstone ah, where yes. my people work against their will they must be freed soon okay so yes yeah, so you must follow her up to where her people live i'm assuming it's right up here where that town icon is The village is just ahead. Storn has used his magic to raise a barrier around it, protecting the few of us left. That the barrier is still there is a good sign. I don't see... Oh, wait. No, that's just wind. Or is that a barrier? Oh, okay, no, yeah, I see it. Okay. Interesting. Ah, oh, yes, a horker. Oh, but the the reason why I gave Gore that spell is because he's going to become like a death knight. Because he's perfect for it. Alright, so we're not Freya. Probably the biggest house. Father! Whoa! I have returned. There is yet hope. Freya! What news do you bring? Is there a way to free our people? No, but I have brought someone who has seen things. He has confirmed that Mirak is indeed behind the suffering of our people. I feared that it would be so. But how is that possible? After all this time? I fear there is too much we do not yet know. Please, tell Storm what has happened. Storm, this game is probably going to make me give you a book. I'm going to tell you. Don't look at that book. But you're probably going to. There you go. So you have seen things, yes? Yes, like Cthulhu My things. Magic grows weak, and so does the barrier around our village. Time is short. Tell me what you know. <sighs> I've seen some crazy shit. <laughs> I've seen Mirak. Really? How? I read a book in Mirak's temple and went somewhere. Mirak was there. The legends speak of that place. Terrible battles fought at the temple. The dragons burning it to the ground in rage. They speak also of something worse than dragons buried within. Difficult <laughs> to imagine. Mm -hmm. But if true, yeah, I found something means worse. what I feared has come to pass. Mirak was never truly gone, and now has returned. If you could go to this place and see him, are you like Mirak? Are you Dragonborn? I am Dragonborn. Then perhaps you are connected with him. The old tales say that he too was dragonborn. 
I think he's more dragonborn than I am. Um, but what does it mean if we're both dragonborn? I am unsure. It may mean that you could save us, or it may mean that you could bring about our destruction. Either or but sounds our okay. our time here is running out. The few of us left free of control cannot protect ourselves for much longer. You must go to Sering's Watch. Learn there the word that Mirak learned long ago. And use that knowledge on the windstorm. Ah! You may be able to break the hold on our people there and free them from control. So, this new word of power must be the thing that I need to use on those stones to get a reaction. I see. Let us ask the questions. So what do you know about Mirak? Much of what was known has been lost to the ages. He was dragonborn, and yet he served the dragons. A priest in their order, highly esteemed and very powerful. Then he turned against them, becoming something they feared. He was defeated long ago, but it seems he was never really destroyed. And why would I need to learn a word of power? Mirak is behind what is happening to our village. And so the knowledge she has gained as Dragonborn is at the heart of it. You are Dragonborn as well. You too can wield this power, perhaps to a better end. <laughs> yeah, a better end for me, maybe. And what exactly do you mean free your people from control? Some dark Influence wields power over them, forces them to forget themselves and act against their nature. At first, it was only during the night, but now every moment is spent building some strange shrine around the windstone. I believe if the shrine can be destroyed, the skull will be free once more. Yes, that would probably be the mind flayers that are working with Maroc. Just a thought. Of course, my character wouldn't know that, and they're probably not called mind flayers in this game. May darkness never touch you. Oh, I'd say it's touched me a little bit. <laughs> that weapon right there. All right, so where are we going? Down to that windstone? No. There's the, there's the watch. Okay. I guess we go back up that way. I'm right behind you. Thank you, Talvis. Remember, everything's better bloody. You know what? I've You're not even back. in full heavy armor, are you? What Hold do you on. need? Let me open up your backpack. Uh, there must be better. No, that's all I have, huh? I think he has light armor on his wrists and feet. Yeah. Well, this is all I got for you. It's gonna... Well... Alright, might as well give him this. And then we'll give him the bone mode gauntlets, which don't look right at all with that setup, but eh... All right, then. At least now you're wearing full armor. I wonder if there's anything else to, to do around here. Eh, I'm not gonna steal Salmon. Hello. Child. Goat. Oh, I just want to blast you in the face. <laughs> Don't buy me. The great Sig is much bigger than our village. But why would anyone need so many buildings? Oh, what you don't know. Just remember. Buy me one more time, good. better bloody. Thank you, Gore. What is it? Catria speaks? She really does. Alright. Let's leave this little Nord village. Ooh. Do I want to take these? Nah. Not right now. It's 
So yeah, finally, no more Brock. It feels good. It does. It really does. Don't have to look at him anymore. And this is where we started the episode. Alright. Maybe I should quick save. Just in case. Oh! Hello! Hmm... Well, Gore did not summon anything... ...that time. There, okay, so we need Taproot for that guy. Alright. We'll give it some time. I taught him the spell as a standard spell. I may have to give it to him as a tweak spell. And this is not going to get us to where we need to go. Let's go around here. There we go. Oh! 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 Bomb! I'm going to collect your soul. And I need health. Thank you, Bob. Is it over? Hmm. I wonder if it because he's wielding a two handed weapon. I wonder if that's stopping him. Not sure. If that's the case, then I'll just have to make him a one-handed weapon fighter. Hmm. Well. Yeah, sure, let's go in. Why not? Oh, something else that's pretty cool that I saw when I was leveling him up. I never even clicked on this, but if you go to Tweak Options, and let's see, I think it's under Info, and then go to AI. I never even clicked on AI before, but it tells you he's aggressive, he is confident, he rarely moves around, he will steal and kill anyone. That is his moral. <laughs> Perfect ally for me. That's great. Let's I go. What, I wonder if this guy's the same. Here. What's your morals? We'll steal and kill anyone. I wonder if everybody is like that then. Huh. Can I change that? What is this? Marriage option. No. Hmm. You lead, I'll follow. I tell you what, let me quickly teach him the Draugr Warrior huh? as a Just tweak spell. Remember. Um, auto. Now the actual spell I think costs like 140, so I believe it should work. I know it says he doesn't have enough magicka, but I think it should still Let's work. Go. I really want to get this to work. An empty chest. Oh, this is going to be Reichlings. Hello, little guys. Sorry, 
summon Max. So are these the, the Falmer of this place? Hello? Oh! Come, Boar! <laughs> Hello, Max. You're a good spirit cat. Oh, isn't this cute? Look at their little Reichling Tower. Look at you, you're dead. <laughs> you know what? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Sorry, Max. What? Resisted in a... Hmm, okay. Guess they're just too high level for me. Max. <laughs> Reichling soul has been captured. <laughs> you have no chance. Look at that. Three souls. Less than like eight seconds. What the hell is this? A broom? Is that it? I have a feeling I should start increasing the difficulty of this game. I'm just kind of blowing through everything now. Are those soul gems? No. Although I can still die to one arrow. So, that's something. What the hell? <laughs> Thing just popped out of a crate. What the? Oh! Ouch! It sucks for you. I don't think anyone here should set up that trap, right? No. Let's just jump over it. Get a max. What the hell set off the trap? None of them should. Maybe it was Max. It was probably Max. What the? Get back down there. So yeah, definitely like just like the Falmer. They even have the Falmer traps. Get him, Max. Oh, you want to throw stuff? I can throw stuff too. Ooh, ouch. Sorry, Max. But there you go, you're back. Now, neither Talvas nor Gore are summoning anything yet. Maybe they just don't think it's a difficult enough fight for them to summon. I don't know. And now we're heading into some old ruins. Okay. They're not going to be popping out of the ground here, are they? What the... I mean, what, are they sleeping these things? Good 
got? You know what? I need to check on my weapon here. Interesting. So... Wait, what? Shouldn't the little magic bar... Like, the number of uses below the damage weight and value, shouldn't that be decreasing by now? Or is it every time I'm stealing a soul, is it just automatically refilling the mace? When I huh. was in the dungeon, a bunch of the guards used to torture the prisoner in the cell next to mine. Yeah, you told me this before. Right. Wasn't fair. The Great Hall, huh? It's about to become the Hall of Death. <laughs> I love that Max just lays down. Whoa. <laughs> that is kind of funny. Okay. I, th I... Never mind. Hmm. Well, I won't worry about that. I do like that they can throw spears. That's pretty cool. Where's everybody? You guys coming? Oh. Wait a minute. Is it riding? He's riding it. Oh, that's cool. Though, didn't really do too much. But still, that was pretty cool that he was riding the bristleback. Give me a Reichling. get down. Ah, I guess I'll just go back that way. What's that? A honeycomb. Still no summon from Gore. Huh. Hmm, hmm, hmm. And I hear a dragon wall. Oh, wait a minute. Here, this is a puzzle, huh? These puzzles, like, what's the point of them? You know, they're so flippin' easy. Oh, I see. That's the missing one. That's the one that I have to find. Hmm. You need something? Yes, I need the last image. Screw it. Ah, no traps. There we go. Puzzle solved. Wind Cyclone. And I guess we're done with this cave. Wait a minute. What? What? Oh. 
All right, I'll read the book. Oh God. Oh. So, another seeker after knowledge enters my realm. Uh-uh. I am Hermaeus Mora, Prince of Fate and Lord of Secrets. This is Apocrypha, where all knowledge is hoarded. Now, perhaps you will prove clever enough to uncover the secrets hidden here. If so, welcome. <laughs> perhaps you are a fool or a coward. If so, you are in peril. Need your book again, and escape before Apocrypha claims you forever. Oh boy. So, who on the designing team had a major love for Cthulhu? Like, I wonder how long someone's been trying to be like, alright guys, look. I love Cthulhu, I want Cthulhu in Elder Scrolls. And then they're finally like, alright man, fine. With the Dragonborn DLC, you can put your Cthulhu shit in there. Fine. It just seems so odd, like unless I don't know all the lore of the Elder Scrolls games, like if there was some kind of mentioning of this Cthulhu type of creatures in some other previous game that I don't know about, because this seems like just totally out of left field. Just out of nowhere. But I think this is a good time to stop the episode, because Next time we're going to be exploring this realm, I guess, and unlocking its secrets. So thanks for watching, and I will see you all next time. Take care.